Erin Gray, born January 7, 1950, is an American actress, perhaps best known for her roles as Colonel Wilma Deering in the science fiction television series Buck Rogers in the 25th century and as Kate Summers Stratton in the situation comedy Silver Spoons. Gray was born in Honolulu, territory of Hawaii, now the state of Hawaii. The daughter of Diane and Daniel Gray, when she was eight, her parents separated. Gray lived with her grandparents in Palm Springs for a few years. Eventually she and her mother moved to Larkspur, California. Gray attended Redwood High School and finished her last semester at Pacific Palisades High School. She briefly attended college at UCLA, majoring in mathematics, but she left school to pursue a career in modeling and moved to New York. For five years on nightly network NBC TV, Erin Gray was the American public's image of the ideal woman. Her Kate in Silver Spoons managed to have it all, marriage, family, and business career. And for the two years before that, she had redefined our public image of the beauty with brains, when Buck Rogers in the 25th century became a hit series, her sleek, sophisticated Colonel Wilma became a role model, and Erin Gray became a household word. Erin's success as the face that launched some of America's most glamorous beauty products was already legendary before she made the dramatic career change from model to actress. As the original, I'm worth it, woman for L'Oreal, and the Bloomingdale's spokeswoman for 10 years, she was launched into a starring role in the critically acclaimed television miniseries, Evening in Byzantium, with Glenn Ford. Ms. Gray continued to star in numerous movies of the week, Born Beautiful, Starman, Coach of the Year, and, Code of Vengeance, and also starred opposite Kenny Rogers as Lilla in the feature film, Six Pack, directed by Dan Petrie. In Silver Spoons, in which Ms. Gray met and mastered the triple challenge of the television sitcom, comedy, television, and live audiences, she further honed her live audience comedic skills by doing theater, starring in California Suite and Six Rooms Riverview, and not only achieving critical success with Social Security, but bringing audiences to their feet with standing ovations. Ms. Gray continued to co-star in numerous mo's such as Breaking Home Ties with Jason Robards, The Avenging Ace, and Addicted to His Love. In three fascinating roles Ms. Gray was again able to express her versatility and range, as a psychotic killer, and evil duchess, opposite John Rhys Davies, a brilliant and twisted femme fatal in Dark Justice, opposite Francis's leading comedic leading actor Thierry Lermite in a hilariously funny farce as an American writer who while hiding out in a French chateau, becomes involved in a murder mystery. In the mid-90s Aaron starred in three feature films, Jason Goes to Hell, Dangerous Place, and T-Force. She also starred in the first original movie for the USA, Sci-Fi Network's, Official Denial, with Parker Stevenson, and Dirk Benedict, as well as, the challenging role as the intense prosecutor, Pam Bozanich in the controversial film of the high-profile Menendez Trail, Honor Thy Father and Mother. Aaron also made appearances in guest-starring roles in the CBS Mo, Crowfoot, and in the very popular, Baywatch. In the summer of 97 Aaron starred in the award-winning play, L'Amour N.D. 58,458 inches at the Bitter Truth Theatre in Los Angeles, as part of the cutting-edge NoHo Arts Festival. Aaron went on to guest star in recurring roles, as Congresswoman Karen Archer in NBC's highly acclaimed drama, Profiler, and the cold-hearted Nicole Devlin in ABC's Port Charles. And in 2002 Aaron was honored with the Entertainer Award at San Diego Film Festival. Aaron and co-star Joel Higgins from Silver Spoons delighted in working together again, in 2005, this time performing in Bernard Slade's, same time next year, at the Buck County Playhouse in New Hope, Penn. 
Within the new millennium, Aaron has completed filming 14 independent feature films, The Last Producer, with Burt Reynolds, Woman's Story, Social Misfits, Touched by a Killer, Delicate Instruments, SWAT, Man Fast, Serial Intentions, Clover Bend, with Robert Urich and Caught in the Headlights with Stacey Keach. In 2006 there was The Wedding Video, and Loaded, with Jesse Metcalf and Chase Crawford. Magically last year brought Gil Gerard and Aaron together for the first time since Buck Roger, in a made-for-TV movie called, Meltdown. In addition, Aaron thoroughly enjoyed working on David Kelly's short-lived but very funny comedy series, Wedding Bells, and starred opposite William Atherton in the sci-fi channel's, Ghouls, which was shot on location in Romania. Aaron has just completed filming on location at the mystical Mount Shasta a much-loved project called, Dreams Awake. This very special film reunited Aaron with Tim O'Connor, Dr. Hoer from, Buck Rogers, who portrayed her dad, and Gary Graham as her husband. Throughout the 90s Aaron and friend, Mara Pearl managed to co-write, Act Right, a professional guide for actors which just won first place in 2007 for the EVVY award give by the Colorado Independent Publishers Association. In addition to raising two beautiful children who are a constant source of pride and joy, Aaron and her husband, the noted director of photography Richard Hisong, are currently producing a video on one of her favorite subjects, Chi Kung and Tai Chi. Aaron teaches these moving art forms four days a week at the Encino Acupuncture Center and travels around the county sharing her passion for Tai Chi and the healing arts. Within the last eight years, Aaron established, Heroes for Hire, a company which books celebrities at personal appearances and speaking engagements, and a production company, Wu Wei Entertainment. Possessing a highly developed sense of public service, Ms. Gray, as spokesperson for the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence and as an advisory board member for Haven House, the oldest battered women's shelter in the U.S., co-produced and wrote PSAs with women in film. For over a decade Aaron has been speaking out against domestic violence, a topic that is close to her heart. Erin also takes time out of her busy schedule to host such programs as Lifetime Cable's Drug and Alcohol Intervention Program, and give motivational speeches for such organizations as UPS, Aflac, and Lady Remington. Erin is the recipient of nine community service awards, such as the Leadership Award by the County of La and the Guardian Angel Award from Mothers Against Sexual Abuse, the YWCA's Women of Achievement Award of Distinction, the 1999 Women's Peace Power Media Award, and the 2002 Women of the Year Award by the LA Commission for Women and Two Lifetime Achievement Awards.